came here to attend the Chennai uh, conference, but side by side there was an expo happening and one product and brand that caught my attention and it's very, very interesting. After talking to the founders, I got to know a lot of information and I'm talking about the Aventus Energy. And this particular model is called S110. It's an electric scooter, but if you see it, it looks very funky, right? It's kind of an hybrid. It's, it looks like a motorcycle, but it is a scooter. Example, like you have the comfort of the motorcycle, but you also have convenience of a scooter as well. I'll give you the complete walk around of this motorcycle. What is the range? What is the specs? What is the features? All the details. So, hi, hello, Namaskara. I'm Pradeep, hope you guys are doing great. Let's get to know about this particular scooter. First thing, as soon as you see this motorcycle is you'll see this big, big tires. And if you see a scooter, all you get is like 12, maximum 14 inch. But this has 17 inch wheels. This is pretty huge, man. I'm sure you would have seen this kind of vehicle somewhere in Thailand or Bangkok, where that is quite famous for the ice segment. But now we have this in India because I was waiting for this kind of vehicle for a long time because I'm a motorcycle guy. I like to have big vehicles with a big wheelbase because that is quite comfortable. You have more space to squeeze in the suspension as well. 80 by 100 section tires. So MRF tires, which is all season tires. And you also get the disc brake as well, which is by Bybre, which is by Brembo. It's not an ABS, it's combi braking system. So when you apply the front, you get the rear as well. Behind you have the normal telescopic suspension. It has a longer suspension as well. But the front of the vehicle is is where it looks very pretty unique this is a led headlight as well so you have the daytime running lights here you have high beam low beam as well this particular section gives you that motorcycle wala feel where you have the headlight as well led indicators so the front end looks really good you have the mud guard you have the aventus logo here as well here as well so nice attention to detail of reasons why you buy a scooter is to have more space in the floorboard and you get adequate floorboard space here you have the Aventus logo here you have the hook the advantage is you're not keeping your legs on the floorboard you have a foot pegs over here so when you're sitting on this particular scooter so you have the you are keeping your legs on the foot pegs and you have more contact between the foot pegs and the scooter over here so better balancing and you can use this space carrying stuff or if you have another children or anybody here so they can definitely squeeze it in so you have adequate space as well The other advantage that I saw is the handlebar, which is pretty higher up. Since it's not a clip-on kind of an handlebar, the reason is you can adjust it uh, according to your height and weight as well. So you can tilt the handlebar towards you so that it's more comfortable when you're riding. So that is pretty good. So you have normal switch gear like high beam, low beam, side indicators, horn. And this is where the riding mode is. So this scooter comes with two riding modes, which is eco and sport. And it also has a reverse mode as well. And also in the bottom left, you can also see the water was consuming per kilometer. So you can track how many water was you are consuming, the turn indicators. So this is a color LCD display. It's not a TFT. Why do you need a TFT? And I don't think it has maps, but it has side stand indicators and uh, engine kill switch option, the time and the speedometer as well. Very compact yet uh, good looking plus usable display. And since it's an EV, you don't have the gears or clutch or anything. So this is a rear brake, this is a front brake. And uh, since I said both of them have the disc brakes, so that is well and good. And the mirrors are also pretty nice. The quality level seems to be okay, but I'm waiting to ride and see how the product looks in production model. But the pre-production model itself looks really good as well. For me, the biggest USP of this vehicle is not just the convenience that it offers that everybody can ride. It has bigger wheels. It can be a motorcycle plus scooter. For me, the biggest thing is the charging or how the battery is placed. So this comes with a removable battery pack and the advantage is it's underneath the seat over here. So this comes with a removable battery pack over here, which is about close to two kilowatt, 1.9 kilowatt, and it's a removable one. So the advantage with the removable one is you can charge it at your home. If you have the charging space, you can charge it at your uh, doorstep as well. And the advantage is they're using a very similar battery that I'm seeing which Bounce uses as well. Maybe in the future, you can use the Bounce swapping stations as well. When I was talking to the CEO, I got to understand that they are already in the talking 
terms. Maybe in the future they'll have that collaboration as well. Once that goes up, so you have the swapping stations, you can charge it at inside your home by carrying the battery pack and you can charge it at your parking spaces as well. They also have the 1.1 kilowatt charger as well. So it takes about four and a half hours to completely charge this battery pack, which gives a range of about 85 kilometers real world. I don't know the IDC range and give me the IDC range, but they're given out the real world range. So there is a space here to keep the charger as well. So there is a space in between battery pack as well because this is a S110 and there is a S110 ER extended range model as well which will contain a 3 kilowatt battery pack which means bigger battery pack more range. So this is 85 that's about 125 to 130 kilometers of range. So that is something that's coming up as well. So really interesting because they have the space to squeeze in the battery pack. Now we definitely have to talk about this huge seat because comfort levels are very very important. So I see that the rider seat is quite big and the pillion seat is also quite long. So definitely we can squeeze in three people. Let me sit and show you. So I'm about six feet tall and this is how this particular motorcycle looks on me. And see, I'm only using about half the seat and you still have about 60-70% of the seat remaining where you can use it as well. So that's pretty nice. The comfort level of the seat is pretty decent. It has good comfort and definitely can last long and it looks rugged as well so that you can use it in the rural part of India or when you're using it for deliveries. It's kind of rough and tough. And also other thing that impressed me the most and I have not seen in any vehicles is this particular section. What's so big deal about it? It looks like a design. No, there is a lot of air ventilation channels that is created for the battery and motor. Even though it's a removable battery pack, the team has gone far and beyond to create the ventilations. The heat dissipation is happening much better. So there is an intake over here. There is an here on the other side as well. And the outtake is here. So the air entering here cools the battery and the motor simultaneously and it comes out like this. So the faster you go, the more air that is coming into the battery and motor and it cools up pretty fast. I think this is really, really good, which I have not seen any of the removable battery tech scooters till date. I have tested a lot of scooters and uh, two wheelers and I have not seen this kind of uh, active or passive cooling, which is used in a very effective way. That too in a scooter. This is also one of the unique things. Usually you find one sari guard in the scooters, but there is one more sari guard here as well. So both the sides are protected. And when two people or three people are sitting, this is very well protected. And you have the disc in the rear as well. And it's a single sided uh, mud guard over here, the rear flap. So that is also very covered till the very end. Even though it compromises the look of the scooter, it might look, but this is very, very purposeful. I don't know how the brakes function, how the scooter rides, the battery pack lasts and all this, but when we will definitely do a ride review once this is available i'll talk to the team so this is an 80 section tire it's not too big not too small since the wheelbase is quite long and the length of the vehicle is long you definitely need a bigger tire along with the battery other important thing is the drivetrain and the motor uh, so the motor used in this particular vehicle is a mid drive motor mostly in this kind of vehicles you will see a hub motor directly fixed to the wheel so it doesn't give it that great impression and if you see the long lasting factor of a hub motor, not so much that too in a, such a big a wheelbase vehicle. So what they have done is they have, they have a mid drive motor which is hidden inside this compartment. So completely sealed and safe. The connectivity is completely different. You will see a chain drive, chain drive connecting to the motor. So it's a two, two step connection. And I asked the team as well, why didn't you use the belt? Why are you using the chain? Because the belt makes less noise at the same time. It's more efficient. You don't have the maintenance. But what they're telling is that the chain works much better here and the replacement of the belt cost is quite huge whereas the replacement of chain is pretty pretty affordable and you have to do maintenance every 300 400 kilometers you have to lube it or clean it that's something that we are used to in our splendors and also you have twin spring loaded suspensions which take care of the suspension duties in the rear and i see that it is adjustable now it's in the stiffer setting it also has the softer setting so depending on where you're using you can use this suspension it's quite long as well unlike scooters where it's quite small this is pretty big as well. And the utility factor of this vehicle is also quite huge. You have the pillion foot pegs here. Anybody sitting on the sidewards like our mamas or females sitting sidewards when they're wearing sari, you have the pillion foot pegs as well attached to the sari guard, which is also very well integrated. I like it. 
and also we have to talk about the specs of the motor as well so this is a 5 kilowatt motor which has adequate power but they have tuned it in such a way that it's 2.1 kilowatt hour motor for now the battery and the motor can be very efficient it can achieve more range it has 20 newton meters of torque as well so adequate torque to pull two people three people a lot of load as well so that's really good and uh, we have to talk about this particular sari guard which is integrated with the pillion footrest uh, for the ladies as well you have a footrest here too and here as well i like how well they have integrated well i also have the spec sheet of both the models over here the s110 and the s110 er so i'll put the picture here so that you can pause and read the entire specs what are the safety ratings what are the entire power figures and all the figures that you can see i don't want to bore you with entire figures since this vehicle is used in the tier 2 tier 3 cities and the rural part of india definitely ground clearance plays a very important role so this has adequate 170 175 mm of ground clearance which to be more than what royal enfield hunter 350 so it has adequate ground clearance as well seat height is also pretty normal for our indian heights where uh, even the females and males can ride and they can be comfortably place their foot pegs and maybe if you are a taller or longer person what you can do is you can go back and forth like this let's say you are a shorter person you can sit closer and if you are a longer person you can go behind and you can adjust your handle bar as well so you have good mirror visibility too and overall i think this is a really good scooter i don't see a lot of unfinished products anywhere the only thing here is there is a mobile holder fixed it's more like a diy because this doesn't come with any of uh, the navigations or anything so you can fix a mobile holder here i can see an exposed wire of this mobile holder but i'm sure by the time the production comes in you will definitely have a good integration of the mobile holder or you can fix your third party one as well and if they price it very well this is going to definitely boom hope you guys got all the details in the walk around i tried to cover everything that i could understand but there are a lot of questions that is unanswered as well how is this of uh, this scooter rides on the road uh, how the ergonomics is how the weight plays because this vehicle is quite long as well and how the comfort level how the suspension brakes range we have to do a lot of things because we love doing range test and we'll definitely do the range test of this particular scooter as well uh, so a lot of questions to answer but overall from what i have seen this is very very impressive and the entire chennai expo that i'm seeing here i think this is the only stall which has some promising product than anything else so definitely i'm super super happy if you have more questions mention in the comment section so that i'll be happy to answer and if you want to know more details about this company i'll have the link in the description as well so that you can check out the aventus energy and we have a interview coming up with the founders which i'll be doing next so watch that video as well so that you get more insights about how they made this vehicle who are the founders what are the questions i'll be ans asking a lot of questions as well so watch out that video and uh, yeah i'm impressed and i i think i'll go happy from chennai knowing that there is a solid product coming to the market i'll see you in the next one until then like comment share and subscribe bye bye